Taz and Meg put their heads together. Palace raising fears as Meg writing daily journal to attack royal family. Meghan Markle has revealed she was writing a daily journal before her and Prince Harry stepped down as working royals amid fears that she may publish a book with more bombshell revelations. The California-based royal said in an interview released this week that she was packing up personal matters from Frogmore Cottage in June when she came across the diary. Meghan told the interviewer, you go back and you open drawers and you're like, oh my gosh. This is what I was writing in my journal there? This has led to fears that the discovery of the diary, at her and Prince Harry's official UK residence, when they were last in the UK for the Jubilee celebrations, will trigger warning signals for the royal family. Margaret Holder, author of Diana, the caring princess and a royal expert said, she had enough time in the royal fold to learn secrets, some decades old, which could cause embarrassment and heartache for the Queen and her family, but could earn a fortune for Meghan. A source close to Prince Harry, who is bringing out his own book at the end of this year, told The Sun, I'd be very surprised if Meghan wasn't writing a book. This week alone Meghan told the fall fashion issue of The Cut, part of New York magazine, that she and Harry were happy to leave Britain and were upsetting the dynamic of the hierarchy. Just by existing before they quit as senior royals. She also dropped another string of truth bombs in the latest episode of her Archetypes podcast, released yesterday, including that she was only treated like a black woman for the first time when she began dating the Duke, and that things really shifted for her after she entered royal life. It is also believed that the couple who will return to the UK next week will spend much of their time at their Windsor-based cottage, much like when the California-based couple were in England in June, when they kept a low profile. Ms. Holder who claimed any book by Meghan would be more explosive than Andrew Morton's Diana, her true story, which gave a shattering account of the Princess of Wales' marriage to Prince Charles. She added, the revelation that Meghan rediscovered what she was writing in her journal at Frogmore Cottage must trigger warning signals to the royal family. For Meghan, a book about her time with the royals offers a great opportunity for settling scores, naming those who offended her, and hitting back at a system she didn't understand and was unwilling to learn. Nelson Mandela's grandson Mantla Mandela slammed Meghan Markle for comparing her wedding to his grandfather being freed from prison. A British royal biographer took to social media and wrote, How long is Meghan going to pour out her drivel? Angela Levin, who is known as a well-known critic of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex said, It's enough already. Not a surprise to learn that Mandela's grandson is cross. Meghan compares her wedding to Mandela's release from prison. The Duchess of Sussex hardly does anything which the British tabloid media and experts loyal to the British royal family approve of. She was also criticized after the first episode of her podcast with Serena Williams released. Meghan was treated like a black woman for the first time in her life when she started dating the Duke of Sussex, she said in her latest Spotify podcast. The Duchess of Sussex said her relationship with Prince Harry led to more focus on her race than before, during a conversation with pop superstar Mariah Carey. When the American former actress married Prince Harry in 2018, she was the first mixed-race person to marry a senior British royal in centuries. The Duchess, who quit as a senior working royal two years ago, sparked a royal crisis with her Oprah interview in 2021 when she accused an unnamed member of the royal family of making a racist comment about her son Archie's skin tone before he was born. Her latest comments came the day after an interview with The Cut in which she suggested her children had been referred to by the N-word by the media.
Thank you.